This is the story of a young Viking who befriends the dragon he is supposed to slay. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're going behind the scenes of the How to Train Your Dragon Live Spectacular. Why don't we start by having you introduce yourself and tell us your role in the show. I'm Rami Newton, I play the role of Hiccup. In the movie there's like a war between Vikings and dragons and basically what happens is Hiccup is like the loser in the village who can't kill a dragon. So, uh, you know, in the end when he shoots down a dragon, he ends up Still not being able to kill him, but um, actually makes friends with him instead. I'm the chief, so I'm always constantly trying to find the source of the dragons to destroy them, to protect the family and the, and the clan. I play Astrid, who is a love interest of Hiccup. Um, she is, you know, a really feisty and determined girl. She is a kick butt girl, and she knows it as well. She is considered probably the best dragon trainer there is. Have you ever worked on anything? even remotely close to something like this? No, I, I can't think of any other show that is anything like this, to be to be honest. I mean, like, I mean, there's elements of circus, elements of, you know, amazing technologies that are in the show, as well as visual projections and, you know, physical theater in the show. It's like doing theater in the, in the very big round, you know, because you're surrounded by the audience and by this, so it's a, it's a wonderful experience. How much can you explain about the equipment at work here? They've been working on these dragons for years, three years in total, to be making all these creatures. There's 20 in total. Basically each dragon, the ones that are you know this size, Toothless and the Deadly Natter over there, there's about three to four people who operate them. But it is live puppeteering. A lot of people might think it's not, but there's actually a team who are working on these dragons live each night. Tell us about the interaction between the dragons and the actors. We're essentially acting on stage throughout the show as well. We just happen to be performing from up here, so those moments where we get to interact with Hiccup and we get to kind of know each other on stage and we do it anew sort of in each performance, that is kind of the most electric and exciting time for me because we really do have to connect every night, every time, but it's always gonna be a new experience because we have an audience. It feels like I'm acting with another person really. Like it's, it's amazing how skilled the puppeteers are on this show, it's incredible. What is voodoo puppetry exactly? On this show we have animatronic puppetry and using all of these systems here. And the company that built these creatures and came up with these systems came up with the idea of voodoo because you think about it almost like a voodoo doll, you know, you push a pin into a doll and it affects somebody there. This is kind of the same idea. We're controlling, we have these controls here, we're, we're moving things around and it affects the creatures down on the floor. How interactive is the show for audiences? It is a more intimate connection with these dragons. I mean, they blast smoke in your face, they fly above the audience's head. We have creatures that vary in size between something that fits on your hand and is, you can kind of think of as a traditional hand puppet dragon all the way to creatures that I think the, our largest dragon, just his head, is the size of a blue whale. Each dragon has their own personality, so you know when a new one comes out on stage it is like, okay now we're working with this guy, he's more fun or he's a more scary dragon. And then we combine that, of course, with the projections that I think is it somewhere between five and nine IMAX screens. With the pyrotechnics, the fire, the flame, the smell, the action, it's, it's really uh, a multi-dimensional event with a beautiful story. Sounds amazing. Thank you very much. My pleasure.